your um, lower body glute gain session today. So my name is Elise and I'll be taking you through your session. Um, this is the progression stage part two. So we've progressed from what we did last week. If you missed last week, then you can always catch up on it if you want. What we're going to be doing is you're going to need um, a mat, a resistance band if you have one. If you don't, don't worry about it. And weights if you don't have weights. Again, don't worry about it. But try and find some heavy form of objects in, in the house um, that you can use uh, throughout the exercises. So maybe uh, tins or pints of milk or anything you can find that just adds a little bit of weight to make this exercise a little bit harder. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, we have got a warm up which we call activation. So when we target the glutes, the most important part is to activate them uh, to start off with because a lot, a lot of the time our glutes are the biggest muscle group, so they do get tired and they do actually fall asleep quite a lot. Um, especially if you do sit down, say if you've got a nine to five job, you work in an office, then it's hard for your muscles to wake up. So we have to properly activate them and also activating uh, prevents injury as well. So that will be your warm up, which I will talk us through. And then we're going to go straight into um, our exercises, which are going to be supersets. We're going to do repetitions to time. So we're going to do 15 repetitions of an exercise and then 30 seconds straight after into a second exercise, which is going to be a different format or a different routine. Okay, so for your warm-up, what I want you to do is just get your assistance band. Again, if you don't have one, it doesn't matter. You're just going to pop yourself in. All right, place it above the knees for me. And what we're going to do, our first exercise is just going to be squats. So we're just going to warm up through those legs. Make sure your feet are hip distance. And what I want to do, if you have your resistance band, is to just slightly point those toes out for me. What that does, it's just going to create more pressure against the band. So as you take the knees out towards the toes, you're going to be creating more impact upon the glutes. So we're going to go down and we're going to push. So that's one repetition. Two, we've got 10 of these. Three, four. Five, make sure you squeeze your glutes. Six, push through the heel. Seven, eight, we're gonna go straight into jump squats. Nine, one more, 10, straight in. So you're just gonna jump, one. If you struggle with the jump, two, just continue with your squats. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Perfect, now we're gonna go into crab walks. So you're going to get that squat position again. You're going to come down. We're going to move laterally. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing 20 repetitions of these. Seven, eight, stay low. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, 20. Stand. Now let's take it down to the floor. Okay, and we're gonna do glute bridges. Again, toes slightly outwards to make the resistance against that band. Oops, watch your dumbbell, it's not on the hand yet. Hands nice and flat, come up, squeeze, push out against the band. One, squeeze, push out, two, three, four, five, we've got 20 of these, six, Seven, eight, squeeze your bum in, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect, okay. You will start to feel these buttons engage. Remember, if you don't have a band, just follow with me. It's still important that you walk through these legs. So, back into number one. We're repeating this round twice through. Feet, hip distance, toes slightly outwards. Okay. Squats, jump squats, crab walks, glute bridges. Last bit of your warm up. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, squat. One, two, three. Squeeze your glutes. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine, ten. Crab walk. So we're going to go straight into it. Just bottoms are back. One, two. As far out with that band as you can. Four, five, six, seven. Keep those heads up. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, perfect. Down to the floor. And we've got those blue bridges. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, push out against the band. Two, three, drive those hips. Four, five, squeeze. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. Excellent work guys, well done, okay. They should definitely feel activated now. And now I'm gonna take us into what our session. So, as I said before, we've got repetitions to time. So, your first pair, is we're going to do squats. So it's just going to be squats using your dumbbells and the resistance band if you have it. So, let me get that song on. Okay, so up to your feet. Still have the band on, don't want to go. Again, if you've not got one, Keep your head up, yeah? 
those feet, those feet, those hips high as you can. Drive it in. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Bring it down. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Now again. Right. Now we're going to take our band off. what we call a pulsing deadlift. So, we're going to do an RDF, feet hip distance apart, so nice and comfortable, toes facing forwards. What we're going to do, shoulders, bring them back, that's the most important part. Always keep that chest open. You're going to slightly bend those knees and you're going to take the dumbbells to just below those knees and then you're going to bring it in. Squeeze your glutes as you come up at the top and bring the shoulders back as well. So that's your positioning. Should always be your starting point. Back, up, back, and up. So remember, we've got a little pulse at the knee, squeeze. Down, a little pulse at the knee, squeeze. That is your uh, 15 repetition. Then pop the dumbbells into your shoulders, I'll leave them by sides. And we're gonna go straight into curtsy. So your bow, curtsy, Cross, okay? That is your third round, your final round, your new game session part two. So, I get my timer on. Right, grab onto those dumbbells. If you've not got your dumbbells, remember any heavy object, kettlebell, anything you've got. Okay. So, pulse and deadlift. Three, two, one, let's go. Up to back, little pulse, cross. Four, five, 
finishes. Okay, really burning out these bottoms. So, place your band on. If you haven't got your band, don't worry, we can do without. So, what we're going to do is, we'll back to those three bridges. So, we're going to come up and then we're going to climb out. And we're going to do 10 glute bridges, straight 10 clams. Then we come down from 10 to 8, 6, 4, and 2. Okay? There is a progression of this where we actually do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 1, 2, 1. But I'm not going to throw you straight in the deep end. Alright, finish up. 3, 2, 1. So just 10 glute bridges. 1, 2, squeeze. 3, 4, 5. Trying to look against that hand, 
and push the knee out against the elbow. You'll feel that open up that hip area all here in my glutes, which is what we want to work those, all those muscle groups. Then change it, bend that knee, feed the other one through, hand over and do the opposite side. Nice stretch through that back as well. Again, we're just pushing out.